Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here. Now today I built something similar to a QR code in Minecraft. Now it's not exactly a QR code because it works a little differently and of course you know you can't scan it with your phone, but it is pretty cool. Now it's not anything amazing, you know I just came back from a trip to Costa Rica actually, which was awesome by the way, and I just thought I'd throw a little something together. So here we have the code and then we can read it by pressing this button. So, cat got your tongue. <laughs> I don't know why I put that. That was just the first thing that came to my mind when I was building this. Okay, so I installed 10 different save files that you can load up. And here we have command blocks rule. You can switch this on to number 5 now. And I am a QR code, bruh. <laughs> and then we can show you number 7. And this one says add click detection. So yes, Mojang, please add right click and left click detection as a statistic. Please, it's so helpful. It would be so helpful. Okay, but anyway, yes, add that. Now, you may see how it works when I load save file number two. You can see this looks like half a QR code or broken QR code, but it actually displays a message. Number three will also display a message. And then we have number six, which is a little bit more filled up, which also displays another message. Okay, so yes. And, okay, let me show you this first. So, the black is for reading and displaying the message. The white is for writing and the green is for saving. So this whole system reads and displays. Over here, this will allow you to write your own QR code and the green system will save it. Okay. So right here, we can just write a message. So let's do something like this is just a thing. Okay, so, okay, you may already see how, you know, some patterns. <laughs> so this, this is just a thing. Okay, ah, these buttons are sometimes annoying to click. And as you can see, I did not make this like a keyboard, so it is a little bit hard to navigate around. Um, what did I just do? I just did something. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think I did anything. I hope I didn't. Really hope I didn't. Where is the N? So there we go. Okay. Now we can save this as number eight by making the thing positive. And by adding a negative in front, we can load it up over here. That's a little, little trick. Well, I don't know, a trick, but yeah, it's a little thing I learned from uh, this guy named Eli is great. Or it might be Ellie is great. I don't know how to pronounce it. He's this cool guy I found on Planet Minecraft who also makes mini games and whatnot. I'll leave a link to his Planet Minecraft in the description. But yeah, I was I always used two objectives for saving and um, displaying or loading, I should say. But he he um, used positive and negative, and I thought that was really smart. So yeah, I decided to use it. So this is just the thing. You can see it'll display the message, and then we can clear it over here. And I'm going to show you a few more things. Over here we have the memory storage, which is nothing special. It's just where all the memory is stored. Now, it uses binary to, well, I, I don't even know if I'd call it binary, but it uses, <laughs> okay, well, this, I, I, I can call this one binary. So this is, it uses binary to store the message. And since Minecraft has a scoreboard limit of up to, uh, 32 bits, I think, which is 2,170, or, no, no, it's like 2 million, no, it's okay, it's way above 2, okay, it's like, I don't know, up somewhere in the, in the millions or billions, starts with a 2, <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's, you can only really store four different characters in something like that. But this, it just uses five wool blocks to display one single character. And there are 100 blocks here, so that's 20 different characters you can store. 
Now, it's obviously not the most efficient method. Hold up, let me actually, I'm gonna save a blank slate here, and then we can just load that. Whoops. Uh, okay, hold up, there we go. Okay, so if we get some black wool and we place it like right here, this should be A, this should be C, and this should be B. Okay, so yes, it's just binary. One, two, and then three. And it's it also, I guess you could say, is combinations because we have five different blocks here and each block has two different single or two different states, which is on or off. So that would be two to the power of five, which is 32. So we can store 32 different things in here, although off when it's all white doesn't really count as anything so technically we have 31 which is basically four bits of information to the power of four to the power plus two to the power of three plus two to the power of two all the way down to two to the power of zero which is 31 so we have 31 different characters we can store in there which is pretty cool and yeah this obviously is not an efficient storage method. We could we could have done something like used every single block, or let's just say all the wool blocks and some stained glass blocks to have one block represent every single number. And then what we would have is we would have, in this 100, we would have each block representing a single character. And we could have 100 different characters right there. Although using all those blocks is kind of ugly <laughs> or we could do something like use hexadecimal which is a base 16 number system and use every different kind of wool because there are 16 different kinds of wool and then in two different slots we could have up to 255 different characters which would in turn produce 50 different characters since we have 100 and 100 divided by 2 is 50 but yeah, I didn't do that because I kind of wanted to make it look like the QR code black and white. I think it turned out nicely. The writing system, well, I'll just show you this. So what I could have done is I could have made it for every letter. What it would do is it would detect if certain blocks are in the right places, but that would be a lot of execute and detect. So all I did is at the start, I made an objective called care, just for character. And okay, so... If there is a black wool block four to the left of the armor stand and there's an armor stand every five blocks so there's, there's uh, how many 20 different armor stands in there then it will be given a score of 16 and if there is a black wool three to the left then it will add eight and blah 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 it goes all the way down to four then two then one and yeah so binary and then over here is just a long chain of commands which will set the armor stand's name to the letter just depending on the score that it has and then every armor stand with a score greater than one at the end will be displayed in a title command here it's just a blank title and then a long title command which will just do them all in order from 1 to 20 the writing system is pretty simple as well all it's doing is this is just setting it setting an armor stand in QR to a certain number and then that just kind of moves through there and depending on the number it places certain blocks and the saving system I've already done that a lot on my channel so I'm not even gonna show that <laughs> but anyway yeah there will be a download link to this map in the description if you want to go play around with it I think it's pretty cool not the not the greatest thing ever but interesting nonetheless and yeah, I do have some stuff that I'm working on with by myself and with other people that is pretty awesome. I know I say that like every time, but I promise you I am. Okay, so anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.